So in the previous lesson, we looked at how to find or determine the moment of a couple in a two-dimensional space. Now in this video, we are going to learn how to do that in a three-dimensional space. Now just to remind ourselves of what we stated in the previous lesson, we said that a couple is defined as two parallel forces having the same magnitude but opposite directions and are separated by a perpendicular distance d. Now in three dimension, the moment of a couple can be obtained by the cross products of r and f. So the moment of a couple in three dimension can be obtained by the cross product of r and f where r is said to be the position vector directed from the line of action of one of the forces to the line of action of the other force and then f represents the magnitude of one of the force and then we have that in newton meter so that is how to determine the couple moment in a three-dimensional space now let's assume that you want to find the resultant couple moment of a system so given a system which has more than one couple moment then we say that the resultant couple moment is simply the vector sum of all the couple moments in the system and so we are going to have mc1 plus mc2 thus if you have two couple moments now because they are vectors they have x y z components and so basically when you do this then you want to multiply the x y and z components now if the couple moment in the system is more than two then we can have a more generalized formula such that mcr is equal to the summation of r cross f so this is another way in finding the resultant couple moment especially if you have more than two couple moments in the system now let's try our hands on this question question number one determine the couple moment acting on the pipe assembly and express the result as a cartesian vector so how do we solve this question so for this question we have a couple which has two forces fa and then fb we have fa to be 450 newtons and then fb also to be 450 newtons so fa is equal to 450 newtons and then we have fb also to be 450 newtons at a and b respectively now we said that the moment of a couple in a three-dimensional space is equal to the cross product of r and f where r represents the position vector directed from the line of action of one of the forces to the line of action of the other force now we have the line of action of force a or f1 to be directed this way and then we have the line of action of fb also directed along this line and so we are going to define a position vector from point a to point b from this point through to this point so we are going to have r a b and that is equal to now from point a to point b we are moving along the x-axis and then away from point o and so we are going to have a positive value which is 0 0.4 and because we are moving along the x-axis we are going to have the unit vector to be i and so that's 0 0.4 i meters so that is r a b next let's focus on the force f so here we have two forces f a and then f b so first of all you realize that these forces are not directed along the x y z component we have f a and then f b directed along some axis of which we don't know however we can resolve fa and then fb into z and then y components so z and then y components so for fa we can have f z a or better still f a z this corresponds to the z axis and then we can as well have this force to be f a y 
this also corresponds to the y-axis so we have same here fbz fbz and then we can have f b y so at a at a we are going to resolve the two forces into y and then z components so at a we have f a to be 450 newtons and then we have a small slope triangle now you realize that f a z corresponds to 3 and so you are going to have f a z to be equal to 3 over hypotenuse which is 5 times 450 now this is equal to 270 and then you have f a y also to be equal to f a y corresponds to 4 so you have 4 over 5 times 450 and that is equal to 360 now at b you also have f or f b to be equal to 450 newtons and then f b z also corresponds to 3 and then f b y corresponds to 4 so in actual sense you are going to obtain these same values so f b z will be equal to 270 newtons and then f b y will also be equal to 360 newtons now let's proceed so to find the moment of this couple we are going to use this formula now since we had the force being resolved into its y and then z components it means that you are going to use both the y and then z components to find the moment therefore we have the moment of the couple mc to be equal to the cross product of ra rab and f and then we can expand f as fy and then fz and so you are going to have 0.4i cross now at a we have the line of action of fay passing through a and so that's going to be fy now the reason why it's going to be fy is simply because we have fby and then fay having the same value so we are just going to maintain that as fy plus 0.4i cross fz now at b you have fbz crossing or passing through b and since fbz is directed vertically downwards we are going to have a negative value so that is negative fz so that's going to be 0.4i cross fy which is 360 now y so we have the unit vector to be j so 360j plus 0.4i cross negative fz so we have fz to be 270 so 270 and then z and so we have the unit vector to be k now at this point at this point we can add the two force components so we can have fy minus fz fy minus fz to be equal to 360j minus 270k so actually it's supposed to be fy plus fz so that it becomes 360j plus negative 270k now we are going to substitute this thing back in here so we have mc to be equal to now we are going to just choose or just pick one of the values of rab so that's 0.4i cross 360j minus 270k so let's do that so we are going to produce 
the three by three matrix we have i j k and then for r a b we have 0 0.4 0 0 for f we have 0 360 negative 270 so that will be equal to for i when we select i we cancel out the row and column containing i we have this time 0 is 0 this time 0 is also 0 minus j we select j we cancel out row and column containing j we have 0 0.4 times negative 270 which is negative 108 and then 0 times 0 is also 0 and then plus k then we are going to have 360 times 0 0.4 and that is 144 0 times 0 is 0 therefore we have mc to be equal to 108j plus 144k so now let's move on to the next question now to question 2 Determine the resultant couple moment acting on the pipe assembly. So in this question, we have three couple moments, MC1, MC2, and then MC3. And then we are going to determine the resultant couple moment in this system. So first of all, you realize that all these couple moments are vectors. And so we need to find the unit vector directed along each of the couple moments so that we can find the x, y, z components of each of the moments. So starting from MC1, so for MC1 in the vector form that is equal to the magnitude of MC1 times the unit vector directed along MC1. And so we have the unit vector UC1 also to be equal to now to move from this point through to this point it means that we need to move two feet along the x-axis two feet along the y-axis and then 3.5 feet along the z-axis and so that's going to be now from this point moving along the x-axis this is the negative x-axis so we are going to have negative 2i and then along the positive y so we have plus 2j along the positive z we have plus 3.5k all divided by the square root of negative 2 square plus 2 square plus 3.5 square and this becomes negative 2i plus 2j plus 3.5k all divided by when you resolve the denominator then you have 4.5 therefore you have mc1 as a cartesian vector equals the magnitude of mc1 is 450 so you have 450 times negative 2i plus 2j plus 3.5 k all divided by 4.5 and then multiplying 450 across you are going to obtain negative 200 i plus 200 j plus 350 k so this is mc1 in the cartesian vector form now let's do same for MC2 and then MC3. At the end, we are going to add up all the X, Y, Z components. So for MC2, we have MC2 also to be equal to. Now MC2 is directed only along the Z axis. And so this happens to be the Z component of the force. And so we are going to have 250K. Now, since it is directed along the negative z-axis, that's going to be negative. So, negative 250k. 
now let's move on to mc3 so for mc3 mc3 is directed in the x y plane so we are going to obtain the x and then y components so mc3 as a vector is equal to the magnitude of mc3 times the unit vector directed along mc3 so we have the unit vector uc3 to be equal to now moving from this point through to this point it means that you need to move 1.5 feet along the positive x axis so it becomes positive and then 2 feet along the negative y axis so minus 2 j all divided by square root of 1.5 square plus negative 2 square so this becomes 1.5 i minus 2 j all divided by 2.5 now we can further simplify this as 0.6 i minus 0.8 j so that is uc3 therefore we have mc3 to be equal to the magnitude of mc3 is 300 so 300 times 0.6 i minus 0.8 j that is equal to 300 times 0 0.6 is 180 so 180i minus 300 times 0 0.8 is 240 so minus 240j so this is for mc3 so to find the resultant couple moment basically we are going to add all these three and so we have mcr to be equal to mc1 plus mc2 plus mc3 so for mc1 we have negative 200i plus 200j plus 350k for mc2 we have negative 250k and then for mc3 we have 180i minus 240j so we add all three negative 200 plus 180 is negative 20 200 plus negative 240 is negative 40 and then 350 plus negative 250 is 100 therefore we have mcr to be equal to negative 20i minus 40j plus 100k and that happens to be the resultant couple moment